Which job is more stressful? Both professions deal with sick people in critical situations. This means that naturally both professions have their moments of high stress situations. Responding to a code blue is an example. This usually means that a patient has stopped breathing or doesn't have a pulse. The entire medical team is involved in performing CPR, but the respiratory therapist will most likely be the one responsible for securing the breathing tube into the airway. This process is known as intubation and can be very tense and stressful and requires the ability to keep cool under pressure. Now, normally, the nurse is not the one running the code. That is the job of the physician. And in these cases, nurses are responsible for taking notes, assisting with compressions, and administering proper medications. And once the patient is intubated and stabilized, the respiratory therapist is also responsible for setting up the patient on the mechanical ventilator for life support as well. Now, this is not to say that being a nurse isn't stressful. Working as a nurse can definitely be stressful in its own way. For example, there's a common joke in the healthcare industry that nurses take all the blame for everything. Nurses are the one who have the most direct communication with patients and their family members. And unfortunately, this means that they often take the blame for things outside of their control, such as long ER wait times, clerical errors, etc. Dealing with patients and their family members and trying to meet all of their needs definitely can be stressful, especially if you're the one who takes the blame for things outside of your control. Which job is more exciting? There are many variables that come into play in regards to on-the-job excitement. It really all comes down to your individual facility and the area of which you work. Obviously, an emergency room respiratory therapist is likely going to have a more exciting job than a nurse who works in a clinic, and vice versa if the roles were reversed. The level of action and excitement just depends on the area where you work. One benefit of working in the medical field for an adrenaline junkie is that nurses and respiratory therapists are able to work on flight teams after a few years of critical care experience. This entails flying in a medical helicopter to treat patients in emergency situations. Becoming part of a flight team requires a significant amount of extra training, and it's a very competitive field to get into, but it definitely is a nice option for both nurses and respiratory therapists to consider. So in terms of what job is more exciting, I would say that they are about equal. Both professions can have exciting days and not so exciting days. It all just depends on your assignment, where you work, and what is happening at that particular moment. Because as you know, if you work in the medical field, things can always change in a hurry. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel. Also, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other resources that I think you will enjoy. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. And if you want to support the channel, be sure to drop a like on this video and you might as well go ahead and click the subscribe button while you're down there. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.